Okay, so hello to all our audience of Melzone Radio Show and Oxygen Radio. We are at the Omega Sound Festival. This is the third edition, second day, and we've got the huge pleasure to be with someone you know, of course. This yeah, is a James, gu- James, James Brown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, James Brown is alive! He's a legend, yeah. yeah. yeah he's a legend. He's a great with the god of punk, uh, Wally, yeah, from the Exploited. Uh, hello, Wally, thanks for taking time to answer some questions. Uh, um, are things in your life at the moment? Uh, all right. Yeah. Okay, I, I, well, uh, I've been doing gigs again. Mm. I'm quite healthy, so yeah. every day is a bo- every day is a bonus. So every day is a good day. Okay. That's how I look at it. So yeah, every day is a good day. Okay. Uh, I'm just asking about how is your health today? Is it yeah. good? Or is it up and down? How does about two months ago, I had a, a mini stroke because yeah. I had stressed with my fucking family sh- sh- problems. But I'm okay now. I was in the hospital for four days, but I'm okay now. So, like, like I say, I should be dead. Like, I should be, doctors tell me I should be dead. Should, but, uh, I'm like a cockroach, I'll never die. <laughs> yeah, I refuse to die. Uh, <laughs> so, I, every so, no. Nah. Impossible. Impossible. <laughs> every, every day, every day, for me, every, every day is a. Every day is a bonus, next yeah, day. <clears throat> so, uh, and I just, and I just enjoy it every day. Every day, every day is uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so. That's cool. And wish you uh, a lot of yeah. good things, of course. So it's been now 43 years that the band is active. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Forty two. Forty two. Sorry, forty two. Yeah, it's important. It's important. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> That's clear. So, how do you view these past four decades uh, uh, to spread punk venom? Unbelievable. Like for us, uh, when I started the band, I was like 21, 22, just young, and so so I thought two years time the band goes for two years. That's like a lifetime. You know, 21, two years is a lifetime because every day is fucking out of your face. So, but to go to go for uh, as long as us, it's it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. But at the same time, we worked, worked really hard. I've dedicated my life to like to punk music. Yeah. Like, that's all. Like that's what I do most of, most of my life. Just punk music. That's what. I, that's what I, I miss. Holidays, miss birthdays, and miss everything just to go just to play punk music. Mm-hmm. And so uh, I worked hard, and I believe in the I believe in our music, and the, the people. Uh, for us to like us to survive so long. We must be doing something right, and people must people must people can relate to our music. Mm. That, that's why uh, that's why we're still around. Because yeah. people, we've always been a good live band. We do live concerts. We always put a, put a good show on. Mm. People will come along and they see who's exploited, and they go, "Oh, that's good. Oh, they're really good." <laughs> I thought they were shit before. <laughs> Okay, that's fucking cool. So, uh, the band uh, is one of the uh, influences of the thrash movement, a sparing band like Anthrax, uh, Nuclear Assault, among others, and many more. Uh, according to me, you, you don't have the recognition that you deserve. Uh, uh, what is your point of view? I don't care. I don't care. Because, <laughs> no, no, it's like, it's like for, for years, we never got any respect in the music press. They exploited, but we were, I was, I was, I was a, a nutcase when I was younger. I was just on Crystal Meth all the time and I was deranged. And so we do concerts, it'd be like trouble and violence and clubs get things that smashed. And so we never got the respect. We were during the UK, that, that used to bother me. But we done uh, we done Beat the Bastards. Yeah. And then all the metal magazines who would never touch us before, they'd never put our interviews in or our gig reviews in. And after we done beat the bus, everybody's like, oh, it's fucking bad, bad, the greatest. But like, I exactly. Yeah. No, no, we get res- no, we get respect. But for me, the only, th- the only respect I need, uh, like our respect, is uh, it's for our fans. Yeah. When people see, like, we get, I got a lot of letters and emails saying, when I, your, your music helped, helped me through a bad time in my life. And for me, that's yeah. you can't buy that. I can't buy that. It's like I done, I done a, a music awards in Kerrang. 20 years ago, I mean, Green Day were there, and they uh, had to present an award to them, but they won it. So before I could, before I could throw it away, they grabbed it. And, uh, and so after, that, that night, I was at an after party, I was taking 
he's in that like that. So I was sitting with my girlfriend at the time, and Joy, that Joy fucking, what's his name? The singer for Green Day, Joe fucking, the wee guy for Green Day, the singer guy came over. Yeah, okay. We were about 10 guys, eh, he's gone. He goes, eh, when, he goes, when I, when he goes, to me, he goes, when I die, he goes, I'm, I'm going to be standing on your grave. I'm going to be standing on your grave, pissing at you, laughing at you. So I looked, I looked at my girlfriend and I, yeah. I went, I could have battered him because he's only that size. Okay. Like, so I stood up, I went, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I went, I went, I've got fucking some, something you'll never have. I went, you might have a big record company yeah. and you might have loads of money, yeah. but I've got something you'll never have. And that's respect for the punks. I went, you can't buy that, you've got to earn it. Yeah. And for me, that, mean, that, means more, that means more to me mm -hmm. than money. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, so, yeah. So the people, the people, the people that know the band, that follow the band, yeah. their their opinions matter to me. Not, nothing else matters. Okay. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care about egos or that. I mean. cool. So let's talk about now the latest album, Fuck the System, was released in 2003. We are in 2022. That, that's already. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I confirm, I confirm. So can we expect a new fucking album in the nearby right. future? Did you start uh, writing? I've got. <laughs> we've got like we've 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 <laughs> see I know exactly I know we have written a lot of his songs eh okay. right and uh, we've got we've got about at least uh, fourteen brilliant like brilliant songs written because yeah. we wrote loads of songs even though although we never recorded anything we got other guitar players we actually did we did we did actually write songs and, this, and we, all the songs we, we might have written maybe eighty songs and. Uh, there's 14 songs that I keep to work on, yeah. but but the problem the problem is I need to do put lyrics to them. I've got lyrics for four songs. Yeah. I need to put lyrics for another 10 songs. Okay. And one, one, and it's like if I wanted to do, if I wanted to do an album, I could put two albums out tomorrow okay. and they'd be shit. Yeah. Right. But I would never do that. Yeah. I'll never fucking I never do that. When when, when, it, when we do, I do an album, yeah. it's my album. It's always got to be a hundred hundred percent the best it can be. Every yeah. track's gonna be fucking fucking I've got to get goosebumps. Mm -hmm. When we heard when we play the songs back about goosebumps, yeah. then I then I know it's it's, it's yeah. good. Yeah. So if I want if I, I wanted to do an album, I could do like two or three albums yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Right? And but they would just be yeah. like they'd just be like yeah. other punk bands would be shit. They only be very good. So okay. and that would not that, that would never happen. Yeah. I understand. Never. never, never for the exploited. It's good. No, never. It's good. We've been offered, offered loads of money today, uh, even to go in the studio and record a live album. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Go in the studio to record a live album. Here's twenty thousand dollars. Go in the studio and record. A, I meant to fucking no. stick up your ass. But 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 I know I know a lot of bands that have done that. Mm. I know a lot of bands. I know a lot of yeah. A lot of, yeah. a lot of bands that have done that. Fucking shit. But I will never do that. I'll never do it because if, if I've done that, mm. then all the, everybody, everyone that's followed the, bla the band yeah. and stood by us, yeah. I'd be laughing at them. Okay. And th that will never happen either. Okay. Is it clear for you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, what, um, do you have in mind what was uh, the, the one of the highlights of your career? Career? Yeah, the band. The band. Uh, the first time we played in a festival in Holland, 65,000 people. And it was the Beat the Bastards Up Cup uh, tour. And, for, and the whole, all these big major bands, all these big major fucking bands playing. Yeah. And we got that much space in the programme. Because yes. they were scared there was going to be trouble. Mm. Or our followers were going to be scared and punks were going to be trouble. So we got that much. So we went to, we went to play at 7.30 at night. Mm. And then, the, then, we, then Rob Halpum got our spot. So they moved us. To two o'clock in the afternoon, oh. the next day, okay. I was like fucking wanker, and then and then uh, he didn't, he never, he never even showed up for the gig. Yeah. So two o'clock in the afternoon, yeah. big massive fucking field, and I thought, oh, two men and a dog, right? I thought oh, I yeah. two men. That's what I thought. But we went, we went on the stage with sixty-five thousand people, and I, and I was and I was like that. Fucking, I'm only a, a, a wee small band from Scotland. I can't sing, I just punk, punk rock, yeah. I make a noise, give, a, give 100%, and, and, a, and I had my two friends who believed in the band, yeah. for two who, who, people that believed in the band, and I'm going, I want a wee band for Scotland, and all these people are going fucking crazy. Yeah. 
and that's the first time that first time that I, that I felt that I achieved something. But then two days later, we played a, a festival in festival in Switzerland. Thirty-eight people and a dog. <laughs> yeah, from sixty-five thousand to thirty-eight people and a dog, and the thirty-eight people and the dog had a fucking great time because it, it was a. Uh, the festival got cancelled. Yeah. It was the guy cancelled it, but never told us, okay. right? So when the, all these up in the mountains with the sheep and the goats, eh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and the, oh. but we still played the same set. Yeah. Still gave 100 percent. Because to me, it doesn't doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No. Right. The people people come and travel. Yeah. They, 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 they they the exactly right. the effort to come and see you. So you you're going to get back to them. Yeah. And that's that's why they exploit. That's why they exploited the last so long. Because we are true to true to our music. Okay, total respect. Looking back, looking back, sorry, at your childhood, in which musical environment were you raised and educated? But, well, music I grew up with. I grew up listening to. Uh, <laughs> I got to say, David Bowie, Gary Glitter, yeah. Slade, yes, James, James, Brown, James Brown, the legend, yeah, yeah. James Brown. Ah, yeah. oh, like a sex machine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, who else? Uh, okay. Screaming Lord Such. Brass construction, soul band, yeah. soul band, yeah. and uh, <laughs> and then uh, and uh, Alex Harvey, yeah. successful Alex Harvey band from Scotland, okay. it was great, great, great band. Yeah. But that's what, that's what I grew up with, and the T Rex, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what is your opinion about the about the punk scene nowadays? Uh, are there any bands uh, that you like, and whose yeah. music and spirit? Yeah, 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 it's like. For a while, but for a while, a lot of punk bands was pretty shit. Yeah. But there's a lot of good new bands coming up. There's a, a band in the UK called uh, fucking Face Up. Face Up. Face Up. They've got a girl singer. Fucking fantastic band. Great band. Good people. Uh, and they've got bands like the Verukas. They've been going a long time, but, but they still they still play the same passion. Yeah. Verukas, uh, Sick on the Boss. Sick on the Boss. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. The UK. They're good, great people. No punks, but fucking great people. Uh, who else played with? Played with. Listen, played with. Looked at Casualties are good, American band, okay. and uh, we just we just done a tour with uh, with uh, Harley for the Chromags. Yeah. We done America. He's, America. The guy's a fucking legend. Yeah. There's of not course. there's no, not many people I respect. There's not many people I respect, mm. but he's one guy I respect. Yeah. He's a fucking true true. His life his life to still be alive. It's a so it's a hundred percent. He's like 100% honest with what he says. You might not agree with what he says, but he's 100% great guy. Harley, you're a legend, mate. And uh, who else? Uh, and not, and not, uh, sorry, I'm starting to get away. Yeah, right. Aye, your question, aye. Uh, for, a while, for a while, the punk scene went like, yeah. like, it was, it was getting, like, especially America, you go like, okay. pop punk, fucking shit punk. Yeah. I mean, like, all, all these different variations. Yeah. To me, to me, punks would, Anti-social, anti-social problems, mm -hmm. like anti-government, anti-fucking. Yeah. Stand up for yourself. Try to live your own life. Mm -hmm. and don't let, don't let people fucking bully you. Yeah. That's to me. That's my, that's, that's punk. Yeah. That's punk efforts. Mm -hmm. And then, but then you got all these bands like Green Day and shit. And people go, oh, I'm gonna do MTV. Yeah. And then it's like fucking shit. You can't. Yeah, you fuck. Billy Joe, you're a fucking midget. Can't <laughs> fuck off. Sorry. Anyway, I don't. I, I do. I do like him. Not. Not. Anyway. I so I so all these bands, all these pop punk bands, was like the shit. So, but now you got so much. You got now you got so much poverty again, right? When we started in the for, uh, we first started in the uh, late seventies and eighties, that had uh, so much poverty in the UK, so much like fucking like rich and really poor, and now it's with, because of Brexit, it's like going back for it's like right back through time. And in the UK now, there's so much poverty, you've got electricity, gas, food, everything's fucking so expensive because of the fucking British government yeah. who are fucking shit, merdy, eh? Fucking wanking, not cunts, man, really. And uh, so now you've got all, all these, you've got, a lot of, you've got a lot of things to sing about now. You know, you've got a lot of young punk bands. And, and was, we played last night with a band called Tagative, Tagative Jones. Tagative Jones for you. They're oh, fucking, French, right? fucking brilliant. Hey, they were absolutely fucking brilliant. They were. Tagative Jones. Hey, oh, yeah. and, and yeah. them and Black Bomb, eh? yeah. Fantastic bands, man. Fantastic bands. Great people. Fantastic bands. 
Yeah. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you for them. Thank you. Yeah, it's a fucking cool band. Good. Yeah, they were, yeah, hey, good, fucking. Really I, was, I was like, that. oh, fucking. Yeah. The best, last night was the best, the best concert, best show I've seen for about, for, about, for about 10 years. Yeah. Easy. Oh, yeah. Aye. Okay. And I don't, I don't see many good, I don't see many good, I don't see that many good, great gigs, but last night was fucking, I was like, fucking yeah. fantastic. Okay, cool. So, uh, we are at the Omega Sound Festival. Oh, punk band, but sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What are your plans after after this uh, festival? Did you have other other shows planned? We've got, uh, we've got we're on we're on tour till the fifth of November. So we've got like Germany, Holland, yeah. uh, Germany, Holland, uh, I guess Europe here, yeah. and, uh, Germany, uh, and then we go back for twelve days. Then we go to South America. We go to uh, Brazil, Argentina, yeah. Peru, Paraguay. Right, yeah. uh, uh, Costa, Rica. Costa Rica. Never been there. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. Yeah. Punk's not dead yet, I can't. Eh, 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 all these guys say Punk was dead. Uh, I'm going to Costa Rica. Where are you going? Fucking who nowhere. Uh, uh. <laughs> sorry. Okay, no, no, don't be sorry. So, uh, what are you to conclude? Did you have some words, something to add? We are in France, for your French fans, particularly. Well, France, France is always unbelievably good for us. And it's like it's a pri it's a privilege to, for us to come here mm. and play because it's just weird. Cause the last like 15 years, yeah. France have been like always been always, been, always have had good, a good response. Yeah. Always had good crowds, good pe people, met good people. Yeah. Touch wood, it also happened again tonight. Okay. There's a lot of metal people here, eh? <laughs> metal, eh? Mm. Yeah. Murd. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. This was Wadi from the Exploited at the Omega Sound Festival in France, of course. Yeah. Thank you. Take care of you. Take care. Uh, okay, we, we need you. Pope Pog is fucking shit. <laughs> this was the word of the end. Yes! Bye. <laughs>